Hello guys, welcome back to Moose Coasters, my name is Anderson today. We're going to be taking a look at Six Flags St. Louis, a park that I'm going to be getting out to uh, this year in 2022. And I'm talking about how it may not be such a bad park as many people make it out to be. Uh, so I'm going to prove that today um, in just a second. Remember to subscribe, uh, like this video, do all that stuff. Anyway, let's get to it. So obviously, you know I'm visiting this park this year. I'm getting a membership with Six Flags Great America. Figured, might as well make it the five hour drive and visit Six Flags St. Louis. Uh, that is like my second, I guess, Six Flags home park, barely five hours away. Um, but anyway, uh, we're gonna be taking a look at their coasters and we're gonna start off with the top three. So Six Flags uh, St. Louis starts off with their, in my opinion, what looks to be the number one, Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast, which honestly looks like a sick coaster. 70 mi mile an hour backwards launch, uh, through multiple inversions uh, and then you do it all going forwards and that is just pretty sick honestly I wish that it was you know more highly rated um, I think part of the issue is that it is cloned I guess the second time but I don't I, I think it's gonna be a really good ride and frankly I'm excited for it um, the other one that I think could potentially be best in the park uh, is boss uh, that is an 122 foot tall a wooden coaster. Um, I'm told it's rough. I've heard that before, and that's the only reason that I don't know that if it'll be number one. Um, it is 4,631 feet long, so a really long wooden coaster. It goes out in the woods. I'm pretty excited for that one. Um, there is also Batman the Ride, which I don't really need to say anything about. That could be the number three at the park. Also, could be American Thunder, which looks to be a great GCI. Anyway, those four coasters right there are four solid coasters. Four coasters that I would ride any day of the week, and I rate pretty highly. Batman the Ride, I think people don't, you know, consider it a good coaster, again, because it's cloned. It is a great ride, and if anything, it was cloned because it's a great ride. Um, and American Thunder, it's a GCI. I really, I'm excited for that. And Boston Mr. Freeze, any three of those is a great top three at really any park, especially for a park of this size, of this, I guess, caliber. Um, obviously it is a bottom feeder in Six Flags. It's not, it's not hidden at all, but I think it's better than some of the other Six Flags bottom feeder rides. And I'll explain that in a moment. Let's, let's look through the rest of the lineup. So they've got Pandemonium. I love, I love these spinning coasters. To me, it's an exciting ride. I think it's, it's fun. And that's what roller coasters are supposed to be. They're not necessarily need to be thrilling or all have crazy inversions or airtime they just need to be fun and i feel like that's what pandemonium does they've also got a boomerang i hope it's open when i go i've heard it's unreliable um they also have ninja which oh boy i'm not excited when you have two manufacturers one doesn't even complete it all the way because they go bankrupt that is not a good thing um there's also screaming eagle which that honestly could be one of the top three i've yet to ride it it's actually a little bit taller and a little bit faster than american thunder um, but it is it seems to me at least that it'll probably be worse. It's a little older um, There's also River Canyon Mine, Tri Mi Mine Train So those really five supporting coasters um, To me are all good supporting coasters boomerang Not a fan ninja probably not gonna be very good But the other three those are all great supporting coasters any park you got the spinning aspect um, you know, you nail it with the third wooden coaster, and you got River King Mine Train. So, like, you need Mine Train. It's fun. Um, but here's where I think this may be a very underrated Six Flags Park, is when I compare it to, in my opinion, actually a very similar park, um, you wouldn't think at first thought, but a very similar park um, in Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Um, their lineup is also has nine coasters, and I might even say that Six Flags St. Louis would be better. And that sounds crazy, you know, this park has Joker, which, it's an RMC. Um, they got Medusa, they got Superman Ultimate Flight, they got Flash Vertical Velocity. But besides those four, their lineup's kind of weak. They've got two family coasters uh, with uh, uh, Cobra and Roadrunner Express. And then they got uh, SLC, a Boomerang, and a Free Spin. So I'm not really thinking, I, I would say that Six Flags St. Louis may be better. You know, they both have a top four that's pretty solid and the supporting lineup at Six Flags St. Louis is good. And I think you could say that for really any other park that people think 
are similar to this is it's in my opinion gonna be better like Laurent people think of this in some cases being worse than Laurent and I don't think that's true they both have a Batman Laurent does have Goliath being a hyper but this this park has Mr. Freeze and the boss and American Thunder and this park has honestly what could be a great wooden lineup um possibly even better than Great America depending on really how I mean how good those rides are is boss you know a really thrilling crazy good wooden coaster i'm gonna have to ride it and i think that's what i have to say about this park is on paper it looks like a great six flags park and i'm really excited um more excited than i probably should be to visit six Flags st louis but the question is is it worth all that excitement is it really better than discovery kingdom i guess i will find out when i visit in 2022 um, if you guys have any thoughts of these coasters or what I'm saying, you know, am I completely wrong? I probably am. I sound insane. But I think this park is just, it's so underrated. It's, again, put below parks like La Ronde. I saw a Six Flags list where they put it below Great Escape. And I think that's absurd, especially with a park that has, honestly, a decent quantity of coasters. And what seems to be a great quality, uh, too. So, yeah, tell me your thoughts. Uh, watch more of my videos because I appreciate it and please please subscribe uh, now I'll see you guys next time if you made it to the end of the video you guys are cool honestly you made it to the end you're pretty sick you're you're crazy but but yeah go check out all the videos uh, goodbye